Well, my name's Greg Basham. I'm CEO of a company in Hong Kong called E Voices Limited. Uh, we've been in business since uh, November 2007. I, I got involved in TEN shortly after we started in business. Uh, we were invited through my business partner to present to TEN and talk about what uh, SMEs and entrepreneurs could do that could mirror Fortune 500 companies in terms of getting the best people on board and doing it at zero cost or low cost. Well, yes, we, we are a true entrepreneurial business. We were started by five business partners, uh, all graduated from the same university in Canada, Simon Fraser University. I was president of the alumni. My four business partners had just graduated. And we put this company together, all the IT, all the systems, uh, everything. We did this on a shoestring budget. Everything we committed was uh, evenings, weekends, uh, uh, people worked day jobs and then worked at night. I had a series of clients. Uh, so what we did is when we got to Hong Kong, we met other people, the entrepreneurs as well, and we begged, uh, borrowed, we didn't steal, but we got a lot of resources here that were low-cost ways to get us in business, get us running, and, uh, and what we do is basically three things. Uh, we do pre-employment screening, which is background checking, reference checking, criminal record checks, bankruptcy, civil litigation. And we have an online survey business. Uh, employee engagement is, is one of our new products, uh, exciting new product, by the way. And we also do exit interviews, either online or, or telephone. And for some clients, we'll do some leadership training and leadership development. Hong Kong and, and uh, Cantonese people are really the original entrepreneurs. I mean, the, the people we saw in Canada, where I come from, uh, from Hong Kong, are very entrepreneurial and have been. So it's a long and storied history in Hong Kong of entrepreneurship. Uh, my opinion of it, is, this is a hotbed of entrepreneurship. Uh, exciting ideas, exciting opportunities, a lot of very high skilled people. Because when you look at the statistics, 90% of the businesses employ over 1.3 million people uh, have less than 10 people. But what they've got at the heart of it is a very good idea, some vision. And uh, one thing I've also learned here, Hong Kong people and entrepreneurs are prepared to share. And we've done a lot in our business by working together with other partners where we can put on a, a, an events in high-class venues and we can get everything sponsored and have 90 to 100 people sitting in the seats that the sponsors are satisfied with because down long term they're going to get business from these very same people. So this is a very entrepreneurial city, a very entrepreneurial place. And strategically, if you look at it, you can get from Hong Kong anywhere in this region two to three hours. So if, if, if you think about that, and, and in our business we service this region and the time zone is very friendly and the travel is very friendly. So this is a great place to, to be an entrepreneur. Can help and, and uh, it, it, companies here is we have a vision and mission of helping organizations take the risk out of their people decisions. And the very name that we chose, EE Voices, EE can stand for employee, EE can stand for engaged employees. So vo the voices side is an interesting concept because when we do a background check or a reference check, we're giving voice to that person's application. When somebody exits a company, we're giving voice, the last voice, if you will, uh, back to the company of what that person thought about the organization, its management, its leadership, its products and services. So. In that context, uh, helping organizations take the risk out is at the heart of what we do, but it's also a very important thing. And we saw some blue ocean opportunities in Hong Kong. The Fortune 500 and global organizations do checking, but the little guys don't. So we've been educating SMEs and small business owners that they're the least able to afford one bad employee. Because one bad employee out of 10 can harm an organization irreparably. You get a large organization of five, ten thousand people, uh, you can have 200 bad ones and they'll hurt your business. They won't help you go to the next level, but they won't destroy you like a small business can get destroyed. 
Well, the first thing I learned at 10 was the quality of the membership and the quality of the people that come. And I've had this comment said to me by other people that have joined uh, 10. Uh, I was having a discussion with the, the owner of Shop in Hong Kong uh, and GeoExpat, Shri. And somebody was asking him, what's the benefit of this organization? He said, the quality of the people. It's got a different vibe and a different atmosphere when you come. So I've learned, number one, uh, people are prepared to network. They're prepared to share their ideas. And I've also learned that there's an incredible talent pool uh, in, in 10, both in the EXCO, the ex Executive Committee, and among the membership ranks. You've got an idea, uh, you need some support, some thinking around it. Uh, every meeting you get that opportunity. And I've also learned this is an organization that isn't just about getting the speaker up on the stage and off the stage. I tell everybody the Q&A sessions are highly valuable and they will stop when we run out of questions and the, and the speaker runs out of answers. So I've learned a lot. Uh, when you look at the kind of topics we've been pr providing, uh, negotiation skills, sales skills, um, I, I've met two people at 10 that have written and published books. So I think it's a high quality organization and I encourage people to, to come out and, and participate, see for themselves. incredible benefits. I mean, first of all, uh, meeting people that are entrepreneurs just like they are, and also just availing themselves of the opportunity to see high value, high quality people that tend to attract as speakers that if, if they had to go and pay for this in the open market would cost them thousands of dollars. And secondly, it would take time out of their very busy days. We organize these events at night, on a Thursday night once a month. Uh, they're invaluable. And that is a consistent message we hear back uh, from people that come to the events. High value, high quality, uh, and they're not having to pay very much for that. Just put their time in.